This time on A Moment of Science, he's been using Brand X. A Moment of Science. Check this out. You're cruising down the street on your skateboard. In one hand, you have a tennis ball. Halfway down the street is an X painted on the ground. Your job, should you choose to accept it, is to drop the tennis ball from your hand so that it hits the X. When do you drop the ball? If you try this experiment yourself, you will find that most people will wait until they're right over top of the X before letting go of the ball. This, however, is incorrect. Why won't it work? Because you're carrying the ball, it already has a forward momentum. Drop it right over the X and it will land somewhere past where you want it to be. The effect will be the same as if you stood over the X and had thrown the ball forward. To hit the X, you need to drop the ball before you've reached it. And the faster you're moving, the earlier you need to let go. This is a difficult thing for a lot of people to believe. In one survey done on undergraduate students, about half of them argued that the ball can't have any forward momentum if it's just passively carried. True, the carried ball feels like it's sitting still. But don't be fooled. From the point of view of someone standing by the X, the ball is, of course, moving as fast as you are. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. Science! Science! Do we have three? I can juggle. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.